Keeping Lake Champlain clean is truly a team effort. In addition to being one of our most cherished resources, is also one of our most vulnerable, requiring attention and careful stewardship. That's why today, Vermont Governor Phil Scott and other political and environmental leaders from New York and Quebec came to Crown Point to sign on to an action plan together. This plan is broken down into four main parts. The first, keeping the water clean. Lake Champlain Basin Director Eric Howe says that monitoring the chemicals that are in the lake is key. At least document that they're there and hopefully build up, begin over time to build up an appreciation and understanding for the impacts that those those chemicals and those contaminants might have. And with clean water comes healthy ecosystems, more specifically finding the ties the wildlife have on blue-green algae. Some of those other elements of the, of the food web and the ecosystem might also help us understand and, and perhaps develop a, um, better controls for blue-green algae blooms here in the lake. But the two main goals are to keep the public informed and to help our communities thrive, starting at a young age in the classroom. And so we can continue to build our education programs in high schools and, 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 and higher education systems and learn about issues associated with Lake Champlain and what things that they can do that they can take home to their parents and, and teach them. Officials say the plan is going to continue to evolve over time to ensure the lake can be a joy for many years to come. Hopefully we'll be able to, to solve this and continue this work, which is not only important for today, but for future generations as well. In Crown Point, Josh Luttrell, NBC5 News. Thank <laughs> you.